Hey everyone, Brandon here from My Fitness, and today we're going to go over something that is overlooked far too often, and that is females in strength sports. Something that doesn't get the limelight that it deserves. Uh, everybody knows about Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno, Eddie Hall, all these men that have done all these incredible feats of strength, or whether it be powerlifting, bodybuilding, strongman. Those are a lot more common names, but there are women that have done just as impressive feats of strength as the, as the men have, and something that they don't get the acknowledgement that they deserve. So today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna discuss a few of the women that have kind of pushed the boundaries of what we really thought was possible in strength sports. And we'll start right off with Donna Moore. Donna Moore was the first woman that I kind of saw in the strength field. Donna's been around for a long time. She's three-time World's Strongest Woman. She's won the Arnold Classic Strong Women competitions three times as well. Just recently in September of 2020, she broke the female's world record for Atlas Stone over a bar. The 48 inch elevated bar, you get to pick the Atlas Stone from the ground, from the floor, up over that platform. She did a 171 kilogram stone, which comes out to right around 377 pounds, which I don't know if anybody's, any of you guys ever tried lifting an Atlas Stone before. It's so much different than a deadlift. Deadlift, you're you know, you're just bending down, you're, you're picking it up straight from the floor, it all goes in the same motion. Atlas stones are totally different, it's a complete dead weight. You really have to use your lot different lifting mechanics than on a deadlift, it's much tougher. Uh, so a 377 pound Atlas stone is just remarkable. She's also one of the few women that have ever successfully lifted the legendary Denny stones. And for you guys that don't know what a Denny, the Denny stones are, they're over in Scotland, they Two stones that total weigh, I think, 733 pounds, I believe. And you have to put one in front of you, one in the back, they have handles on them, and you have to pick them up at the same time and hold them. Difficult part about it is they weigh different weights. You have one stone that's a bit bigger, and then one stone that's a little smaller. So it really keeps you uneven. She's one of the only women to ever lift them successfully, and she will post a video below. She made it look very easy. Next, we've got Andrea Thompson. Andrea Thompson had an amazing, 2020. She broke three world records. She broke the elephant bar deadlift record, um, which she lifted 281 kilograms. Comes out to about 621 pounds. If you wonder what the elephant deadlift is, it's just the bar. It's a longer bar, a little more flex. So it's as you lift it up, the bar flexes a little bit, where a traditional bar has a lot less flex. She also set the record for log press where she did 135 kilograms. Also, I think it's right around 297 pounds, 298 pounds. For the log lift, for if you guys wonder what the log lift is as well, it's this big, huge bar with handles inside the bar. And you put weights on the end, just like a normal bar. But you have to clean it from the floor up to your chest and then press it from your chest up. So think about overhead pressing, what you can overhead press. Think about doing 300, and basically 300 pounds, just under. She also broke the record for traditional deadlift for strong women. There is, there has been stronger, uh, heavier deadlift performed by women, but not in a strong man or woman competition. For that, she did a 290 kilogram deadlift, 638 pounds, um, which is just remarkable. She did it, and she also did that with just a belt. We'll post that video below. Well, she had no lifting suit on, was lifting in just a belt, which is mind-bogglingly good. From there, we've got Rihanna and Lovelace. Rihanna and Lovelace is definitely a bit, she's younger. She's definitely a little bit different than Andrea and Donna. She's much smaller frame. Uh, she's only 24 years old. She has done some amazing things though for how small she is. Uh, some of her most impressive feats are a 600 pound deadlift, 202 pound axle press. Now the axle press is similar to the log. You have to get it up overhead. Um, but the bar is it's thick. It's a thick bar compared to you know, a normal bar you can wrap your hands around and get a good, comfortable hold on it. The axle bar is so big that you really have to kind of use a reverse grip, get it up, switch the grip around, and then overhead press while trying to keep it in, in your hands. It's not an easy type of press. It's very difficult. So getting it over 200 pounds at, I think she was 135, 140 pound range when she did it, which is just remarkable. She's also lifted a 312 pound Atlas stone over a bar, uh, which again, we just discussed the Atlas bar, how, uh, Atlas stones, how tough they are to lift. P 
period. To do 312 pounds at her small frame is something out of this world. And she's also done an 800 pound silver bar deadlift, silver dollar deadlift. Silver dollar deadlifts are simply a regular traditional deadlift. They're just raised up usually right around 18 inches off the floor. So you're pulling from a higher point in the deadlift. She's like I said, she's only 24 years old. There's some more remarkable things to come. She just recently in 2020 won the first ever pound for pound world's strongest woman. And we expect if they keep doing that competition, I don't see anybody taking that title from her for a long time. I personally believe pound for pound, she is the strongest woman, the strongest person on this planet. From Rihanna, we'll go over to Jill Mills. Jill Mills is an American who started off in bodybuilding, turned over to strength and powerlifting throughout the 90s and early 2000s, and really when she switched over, just dominated the sport. She won 2001 and 2002 World's Strongest Woman. Could have probably won more had she kept competing. She decided at that point, I think, I believe it was 02, she won and stopped competing after that. I think she came back in 02. Five, I believe, and took second or third place. Jill was one of the few people who, one of the few women who've been able to really keep a very lean physique and still keep an amazing amount of strength. She had these wide shoulder base that were just perfectly sculpted shoulders. She was almost impossible to beat in any overhead lifting event. We'll actually post a video from the 2001 World's Strongest Woman where she went head to head with the runner up on the log press. It's clean and press each rep. And she did it, I think, 14 times compared to the second place, she only had 10. And Jill could have kept going. She stopped at 14 when she realized she had the win. A lot of people, a lot of women nowadays, credit they're in the sport, credit a lot of their love and devotion for it to Jill Mills. So from Jill, we'll go to Becca Swanson. Now, Becca Swanson is probably the strongest woman to ever walk this earth. If she wasn't on this list, it would be a disservice to all of you. She's got the world record for female squat, bench, and deadlift. She benched a record 600 pounds. She's the only female to ever bench 600 pounds. She's deadlifted 683 pounds, which is the heaviest deadlift for a female in the competition. And she's also got an 850 pound squat room, which just think about that. Think about putting 854 pounds on your back, squatting down and coming back up with it. It's just remarkable. She also had a very successful career in pro wrestling. She is just probably the strongest woman that has ever walked this earth. And this list is, we'll wrap up with Becca. So there you have it guys. There's five women who have really taken and pushed, either pushed the boundaries for what we thought was possible or are pushing those boundaries currently and really growing the sport, getting more women involved in the strength sports. It's just a great thing to see for me personally. I, if the sports are really gonna continue to grow like this, strong man, power lifting, you really gotta get women involved in it as well. So if there are any women out there that wanna get into strength, you have a passion for picking th up heavy things up and putting them back down, don't be afraid about getting too bulky or what people are gonna say about you. If you wanna get in a gym, start lifting, seek advice, get in there, listen to other people, and be great.